Yugara's favourite son was leaving. Walsh's impact on Yugara is still felt to this very day. He was a team player and a proud patron. Ian went on to play 96 games for St George, winning five premierships. In 66, he captain coached the side to a memorable victory against Balmain to capture their 11th straight title and the last of that era. He was always known as the boy from the country. Um, we're playing at Redfern Oval, we're playing South Sydney and I can remember this big raucous voice in the crowd, get back to your pig farm and your Yarra Walsh. <laughs> Ian represented Australia in 25 tests and was captain of the 1963 side that won the Ashes, the first time a touring team had done so in 50 years. In 1966, he had the distinction of being the only captain coach to successfully win an Ashes series. Everywhere you go overseas, uh, every you know, little township or place you play in, you have to sign the Merrill's guest book. And of course, signing with your gower, they all, of course, most of the players are from Sydney, Brisbane, and, that, and here's Ian Walsh from your gower. No one's ever heard of your gower. And after a while, I don't know where you gower. How many people in town, you know, when you tell them there's only six or seven hundred, they were amazed that I was selected to be there from Yugara. Ian was always proud to promote Yugara, but he wasn't the best person when it came to meeting the royal family. Uh, yes, I was captain of Australia, uh, and we are playing at Wembley Stadium, and that's a hell of a stadium, Wembley Stadium in London and I had to introduce the Australian players to Prince Philip. So he walks down the red carpet, all lambed up with his powder and paint on. I met him and we just had a few words, um, which he was very relaxed, I wasn't quite so relaxed. That was all right. I introduced the first two or three players and then he stopped to have a chat to me and then I went blank. I could not remember another player's name from that point on. I was just pulling any name out and, and the players wouldn't put their hand out to shake hands with him. And it was, I just went blank. Ian played with his heart and his head and is regarded as the finest hooker to represent his country. He was selected in the greatest ever kangaroo team and picked in the top 100 league players list this century. He was feared on the rugby league field. I've bitten all nationalities, so they all knew not to put their fingers in my eyes or my mouth, because the Frenchman scratched my eye, and and it is hard. It's it was very sore, and uh, and it can be dangerous. So over the years, they all learned not to put their fingers in my mouth or near my face, and uh, because I bit them all. Actually, um, Henry Maxwell from New Zealand, he dragged out my front tooth. I bit him in a, in, a, um, in a Western Division game because he put a handful of mud in my mouth and in my eyes. <laughs> so I, I clamped him. He'd never do it again. Anyone I bit never, would never go near me again. <laughs> Walsh wins the ball for the Kangaroos. Smith electing to run wide, but he's covered by Mantle. Most people associate Yugara with Ian Walsh, and any child growing up is proud to gloat about it. Ian will be remembered and talked about in Yugara not just for years to come, but forever. Well, to go from Yugara to captain of Australia in the win is a big thing because. You know, people would say to me, oh, Ian Walsh put your gower on the map. No, Ian Walsh didn't put your gower on the map. Your gower put Ian Walsh on the map. <laughs>